channel. Okay, it's the 8th of November and it is Loy Krathong Day. Uh, one of the fun days in the, the Thai calendar. Obviously, the other one is um, Thai New Year. But they soak everyone in water. This one, they do a bit of different thing. They light candles and put them into the sea to float away all the problems. All the evil spirits away, everything, you know. So we'll have a quick cook sit around. Look at the, the this is the thong, it's what the, the floaty thing is. So they're pretty good, you know, and they're, they're really cheap. I mean, they're only 50 baht. It's really good. The amount of work that goes into them is pretty spectacular. You see the work that goes into them. For 50 baht, it's over a pound. And they'll probably make 50% 50, 50 on that. Have you had me? Yeah, they're lovely, isn't it? They're awesome, yeah. yeah. 80 baht. 80 baht. Yeah, yeah. yeah, big size 80 baht. That's really good. I mean, the amount of work that goes into this is spectacular, isn't it? You know? How long does it take to make one? How long? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? <laughs> wow, that's good. Fast. Maybe two days for me. Yeah, two weeks for me. <laughs> yeah, two weeks for me, yeah. Because you reveal them a bit, that's why. <laughs> This is Chris, by the way. Chris is in a new, a new addition to uh, my social circle. Say hello, Chris. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? It's all good here. That's Come here. That's Chris good. is from New Zealand, unfortunately. But there you go. <laughs> could be washy, could be noisy. So we're going to have a walk on the beach road. I've got absolutely no idea if there's anything happening as in real, uh, real lineup. Very beautiful lady. I'm going to have a quick look at her. In fact, the fact she's stunning. Tell you, Cap. If nothing else, it's a good uh, good to look at the ladies. But who needs an excuse for that? Anyway, it's all, uh, all good fun. And it goes all the way along to my end where I live. There's someone, this is soy, soy 6. Uh, we're going to head up for a beer up to Soy White House. I'll maybe keep the camera rolling, just give it a bit of, uh, a bit of fun. So we've got, we've got some... Uh, so patrol boats out, safety boats. Try to cue the, the spent to thong in, in, in the sea. A bit of fireworks going off here. Small fireworks. See this is the, the rising one. It's like a, a bamboo paper uh, runner. And that'll float away until it burns out. The only problem is, with all this, is all the crap that's left in the sea over the next few days. So the sea's not going to be very pretty for the next few days. Yeah, we're still tracking this. Got on. We used to do it years ago to see how far it would go. We used to watch it and watch it and watch it, especially if the, if the, uh, the wind was, was pretty rapid. It was good, good fun. But this is the Thais, Thais thing, they've got a great, great little life, nothing difficult, there's no drama, everything's very simple. Uh, and people say, why do you live in Thailand? Well, this is one of the reasons. No animosity, I don't see any violence here, of course being Buddhist. This is still going, this one up here, he's still flying away. They might burn out, there's some dropping, uh, maybe he's dropping it. Uh, there's a few in the sky now, a couple over there. But the Thai people are very happy with what they've got. They're not, uh, they're not greedy people. And that beautiful girl said that it takes 20 minutes to make that the most expensive, uh, the most, I'm sure, the most complicated croissant. And that took her 20 minutes, and she's looking at about 80 baht, which is about two pounds. Uh, to probably make, I don't know, maybe 50 B on that. This is soy five, which is immigration soy. The dreaded immigration. 
a lot of good places up uh, up these stories and even on the front a lot of good places to eat drink um, we got mugged off last week we went to a, an opening of a bar opening of a bar in my arse been open for a month um, it says Tina Turner on from 5 o'clock and 50, 50 baht beer so Chris and I went in at 5 o'clock the beer had finished 50 baht and Tina Turner had bailed seemingly so I don't know actually what happened to Tina Turner Maybe she was a non-appearance. Obviously not the real Tina Turner. I'm going to show you the two Shipman bodybuilders here, but say it's 99.9% guys on here. I'll give it a miss. Sorry, girls. <laughs> Better luck next time. So, this is also uh, an area that it's all set up for some sort of sport, uh, and they really hammer stuff around. But it's not um, uh, some sort of ball, ball game. This is a form of tennis over a high net with a ball. Very clever. I'll give you a second to watch it. It's good. They, they really hammer the ball. Oh, there you go. Point to someone. No idea, not a, a typical type. No one knows the rules. Maybe they don't even know the rules. I think they must make stuff up as you go along. But if you want anything organised in Thailand, uh, I think you're really wasting your time because most of it is off the cuff. Here's another man that's going up there, just, just off the, the beach. Okay, so we're going to head up across the road uh, once you get past the fire engine. We'll head up, sorry, seven. No, sorry, we're going up, sorry, White House tonight. I mean, sorry, White House. Yeah, we're going up, sorry, White House. I've been there once, last week at half past ten in the morning. I went for a talk and this lady poured me a vodka and coke. Half past ten in the morning. Rude not to. <laughs> so, of course, I had to finish the coke off, so I had to. The first one would be lonely. Of course, yeah. Get out of that, can we? Get a little wheel across here. Yeah. Or two condoms, to be sure, to be sure. Fuck it. I've got a roll here. Fuck. Okay, well, we're still going like a song. Trying to get across the road. I think you run over. This is still here, absolutely heaving. There should be a lot of uh, good thongs still left. I've got a log in the bottom end, it's much, much better, better light as well. So. Much more, uh, much more happy now. Put the deck chairs out tonight, which is quite nice because we don't normally have any chairs out here tonight. Lots of lanterns now, fireworks, small fireworks, all handheld fireworks. There's one of the katongs going off here. This is a great camera for light. It's actually backlit by floodlights on the beach, which is pretty good. Oh, there we go.
I got to see. You see a bit of fire that's going off. So there's a few, uh, few lads in still going in the sky. A lot of people, which is nice to see. That's people lovely. They don't need anything to have a party. Every day is a party. Weekends on this road, I've just got to walk home. It's absolutely rammed with people. Just sitting, having a, a drink, bring a bottle, buy some Coke, some soda. The local drink here is uh, Sangsum, which is a, a Thai rum, or Hong Tong, which is a Thai whiskey. And they also have a local, no, not local, uh, a homemade, um, make you go blind Thai whiskey called uh, Local. This is for hardcore drinkers. I've seen people up in the, the provinces, older people, drinking this at 8 o'clock and they're absolutely, absolutely pissed by 9. That's uh, something not to, be, not to be taken lightly. Yeah, it's good. It's very pissed that it's a lovely cool night tonight. It's really nice cool night. It's not, uh, it's not even balmy, it's just, it's got a bit of, uh, a bit of, a bit of breeze. Probably about 22, 23 of them. I think people would be complaining it's cold. Now, uh, just through that gap here, you'll see some flashing lights. It's just about my condo. I saw that the other night, but it's not been going on the whole week, so it must just be a one night, one night a week thing. But this, this bottom beach path is well lit, and the fluorescent lights go on through the fluorescent lights. The, uh, the lights go on to um, the beach, so it's never, the beach is never dark. So people come here and have their, have their uh, family, family do, family outing. If you like this, look, three people sit sitting, a few beers, get some food. Look, good play in the sand. It's a great life, you know. It really is a great life. Simple things. Basically, these people have got very, very little. But what they do is, they've got just a fantastic place to live. And they make the most of this fantastic place to live. Oh, we're going to the dark a bit. Oh, the, uh, it doesn't look too dark. Just look at what the lights are out. Should we pick up the light again? So these, these lights you can see right in the middle of the picture in the sea are squid fishing boats and they have a green fluorescent light and the squid is attracted to this light and they catch them, catch, catch them in the barrel load so, uh, good income. But sometimes you'd be sitting there fishing boats out there. I suppose there's only so many fish to go in. A lot of Russians here just now. I don't know if they've started to creep back in again. They're a great thing, they're some miserable bunch. They don't, they don't interact with anyone, they don't talk to Thai people. They certainly don't talk to Kerrang, anyone from the West. They're not interested in that shit. They just want to live amongst themselves. Good cap! Have a cap! Have a... Take out! He's on YouTube. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Russians are on a show. But you know what? It's not the only thing. I live in a really cosmopolitan condo. No one talks. None of the fans talk to each other. If I talk to them, they look as if I'm a freaking alien. Got two heads. I say, who are you talking to? I don't understand the mentality. It's not your country. We're guests in your country. So we should, we should be respectful. This new place just opened called the Giant Octopus. Fish restaurant. It's got live music upstairs uh, seven nights a week. Uh, I don't see many people in it, but it is only maybe six weeks old, so it's got a lot of time. We're just hitting high season now, on the 1st of November. 
we'll see where that goes. Please God, it takes off better than uh, last few years with five people need the, need the money. No point trying to talk over that. Sorry, okay, quick pit stop. That was uh, my friend uh, Daz from Manchester. He uh, he lives in my my condo block. Nice guy. He's got a couple of YouTube channels. Uh, but he does do different things. He does um, things with plants in America. He must do quite well. And he works remotely. You know, he's a, one of these with the with the random. What do you call them? We've got a keyboard warriors, um, still be remote workers, you know. But uh, nice guy, nice guy. And he leads a very simple life, just like me. We go walking sometimes, he does 10,000 steps a day. I will maybe do half of that. And sometimes that's an effort. But you know, that's just the way it goes. But, uh, he does keep in shape, but he has, you see, if he has two beers, he's got to walk 5,000 steps extra. So, bloody hell. He's pretty disciplined that way. I'm not at all disciplined that way. Sometimes I hardly see the light of day. One thing that makes, makes me make sure I think cringe is Frank with sandals and socks. <clears throat> Just wrong. Absolutely wrong. Yeah, again, yeah, Frank. Right, so that's it. We're gonna fight me along this path. Night market. Night market vlog will come up soon. It's getting busier. It's getting really quick busy. It was in last night. Very busy. Good to see you again for the five people. Before they wrote me the market, had anyone there, you know. But uh, I had a great half chicken last night. Um, Hundred baht. So we're looking at 2 50 half chicken, beautifully roasted, beautifully cooked, beautifully tender, everything's good, under back, see the cooking. You guys shout, for no reason. Busy, it's really busy. It's uh, very busy in fact. And it's now half past eight. Yeah. Other kids playing around it, uh, get it for them. Mum and Dad can sort of have a, a beer here. Put the kids in the playgrounds. There's no exit, so beyond the, the door, the door slides in out. There's no way the kids can run around and leave. Okay, well, we survived that. Just about. They're carrying up there on the road, can they? They're buying bikes around here. Yeah. Lovely girls. This is the, the downside of living in Thailand, you know. You've got to put up with beautiful girls all day. It's bloody hard work. People don't realise what it's like. I think we just come here for fun. Okay, so, show you White House. This is a small soy. is isn't double ended, you can't get it at the top end. I think the other end's got uh, condo blockets under renovation, I think. I'm not quite sure. Just give me a show when you want to stop. Hey? Mm, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Here we got traditional pig hanger. Here we got traditional uh, barbecue, barbecue pork. 
so they'll take this chappy off eventually. Uh, they push them to skin up the fifth, take them off, chop with the bits, and then give it out to the customers. I've no idea where we're going. I've got a clue. It's not a good one, you've got a plan. That means you cut balls up. Oh, plan always goes wrong. Yeah, plan's going wrong. Yeah. Off the coffee, something up. Okay. Off the, off the coffee, you can't fuck anything up. Oh, you mean balls anything up. Okay. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Not an awful lot of here, is it? So you want to grab a seat on oh, whichever one? Just find one. The guy guy bar. A go go bar, it's not a go go bar here. Go go bar? Nah, I don't think so. Go to the cab. Well, guys, we're going to sign off here. If you get any, uh, any satisfaction at this one, give us a. Oh, you guys want to shave. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, uh, share, do what you want to do, send to your mates. People you don't like, send to people you don't like. Absolutely up to you. But uh, until next time, take care and happy like a throng. <laughs>